Albert Frank Cox was a remarkable pioneer. He was the first African American to earn a PhD in mathematics from Cornell University in 1925. This was a significant achievement, especially considering the racial climate of the time. In 1925, only 28 PhDs in mathematics were awarded in the entire country, and tragically, 31 black men were lynched that same year. After receiving his PhD, Cox headed the mathematics and physics department at West Virginia State College for four years, before moving to Howard University in 1929. He remained at Howard until his retirement in 1965, serving as chairman of the mathematics department from 1957-1961. Howard University played a crucial role in fostering black mathematicians. Cox taught there alongside Dudley Woodard and Walter Clater, the second and third African-American mathematics PhDs, and later with George Butcher and David Blackwell. This concentration of talent made Howard a leading institution among historically black colleges and universities for mathematics education, eventually leading to a graduate mathematics program. In 1975, Howard University's mathematics department established the Elbert F. Cox Scholarship Fund for undergraduate mathematics majors to encourage black students to pursue graduate studies in mathematics. In 1980, the National Association of Mathematicians, NAM, honored Cox with the inauguration of the Cox Talbot Address, given annually at NAM's national meeting. Elbert Cox married Beulah P. Kaufman in 1927, and they had three sons, James, Eugene, and Elbert. He passed away on November 28, 1969.